Can you all hear me? Can you all hear me? So in the last few sessions, we have completed talophytes, bryophytes, and pteridophytes. And today, we are going to start with uh, what? Gymnosperms, OK? Phanerogamy, gymnosperms. OK? Fine. My god. Gymnosperms. The gymnosperms are the plants are the plants in which ovules are not enclosed by any ovary wall and remain exposed both before and after fertilization. That is in case of gymnosperms, the seeds are naked. Okay. Naked seeds. Ovules are not enclosed by any ovary wall and it always remain exposed both before and after fertilization. The seeds that develop post-fertilization are not covered and that are naked. The gymnosperms include medium-sized trees, tall trees and shrubs. So medium-sized plants, tall trees and shrubs are there in the gymnosperms and sequoia, that is a redwood tree, is the one of the tallest tree species in gymnosperms. Not only in gymnosperms, the tallest plant sequoia. So it is one of the gymnosperm known as the giant redwood tree. So the roots are generally tap root. Roots are generally have some fungal association. That is the roots of higher plants with fungus known as mycorrhiza in case of pinus. While in, uh, in other cycles, small specialized roots called corolloid roots are there associated with nitrogen fixing cyanobacteria. The stems are unbranched. Cycus, that is unbranched in case of cycus, branch in case of pinus and cedrus. The leaves may be simple or compound. In cycus, the pinnate leaves persist for a few years. The leaves in gymnosperms are well adapted to withstand extremes of temperature, humidity, and wind. In conifers, the needle-like leaves to there is needle-like leaves to reduce the surface area. Their thick cuticle and sunken stomata also help to reduce the loss of water. That is all about the case of gymnosperms. Moving on to the next page. So the gymnosperms are heterosporous. They produce haploid and my, um, haploid microspores and both haploid microscopes, uh, microspores and megaspores. The two kinds of spores are produced within sporangia that are borne on sporophyll, which are arranged spirally along an axis to form a lag compact strobile or cons. Uh, the strobile bearing microsporophylls and microsporangia are called microsporangiate or male strobile. The microspores develop into male gametophyte generation, which is highly reduced and confined to a limited number of cells. Okay, so this is ready. This reduced gametophyte is called a pollen grain. The development of pollen grain with uh, takes place within microsporangia. Okay, after reading all those things or marking on the NCRT, I will explain it. The two more pages, two more slides. My god, what is happening? Yeah, the cons bearing. The cons bearing uh, megasporophylls with ovules or megasporangia okay, are called macrosporangiate or female strabile. The male or female cons or strabile may be born on the same tree, that is in case of pinus. In cycus, male and male cons and megasporophylls are born on different trees. The megaspore mother cells is differentiated one of the cells 
structure of the nucleus the new cell is protected by envelopes and the com composite structure called an ovule the ovule are born on megaspore of cells which may be clustered to form female cones the megaspore mother cells divide meiotically to form me four megaspores one of the megaspores are enclosed within megasporangium that develops into multicellular female gametophyte that bears two or more archegonia or female sex organs the multicellular female gametophyte is also retained within megasporangium okay One second. Unlike bryophytes and pteridophytes, gymnosperms and uh, gymnosperms, the male and female gametophyte, do not have an independent, free-living existence. They remain within the sporangia, retained on sporophyte. The pollen grain is released from microsporangia. They are carried in air currents and come in contact with opening of the ovules born on megaspore of fill. The pollen tube carrying the male gametes grow towards the archegonia in the ovules and discharge their content in the mouth of the archegonia. Okay. Following fertilization, cygote develops into an embryo and ovules into seeds and the seeds are not covered. This is in case of gymnosperms. And now let me explain it. That's all for gymnosperms. Sperms. After that, we have angiosperms. Angiosperms, I will explain very shortly. Okay. After that, one in detail about plant life cycles and alternation of generation. The last topic. Okay. So. Gymnosperms, we told that gymnosperms are the plants having naked seeds. Classification. Classification, the first one as cycadophilic is. Cycadophilic is. That is the extinct gymnosperms. Extinct gymnosperms. The second one, known as cycadales. Cycadales. That is including very important. Cycus and Samia. Cycus and Samia. The third one, Coniferales. 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 Pinus and sequoia, pinus and sequoia. Jingo ales. Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Okay, Jingo Wales. Okay, Jingo Wales. Okay, Jingo Wales, including Jingo Biloba. Very important, Jingo Biloba. The next one. Next one, knee tails. 
G is silent. Knee-tails. This is G. Okay. Knee-tails. Including ephedra. 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 Velvetia. Velvetia. Neeta and G is silent. It is neeta. Okay. These is this is the classification of gymnosperms. Cycadophilicase is the extinct species. Cycadales with cycas and zamia, conferales with pinus and sequoia, jingoales with jingo biloba, medials with epidra and epidra belvicia and metum. Okay. Then, cycas is one of the living fossil. Very important, living fossil. Cycus, okay. Then, cycus have, cycus have corloid root. Corloid root. They have mycorrhizal association. Mycorrhizal. Association, mycorrhiza, and lichen, all everything I have taught you in biological classification. And this cycus is also known as sago palm. Sago palm. Sago palm. Okay. And the cycus have the largest egg and sperm. They have, these are the definite features of the cycus plant. Largest egg and sperm. Okay. Then, uh, cycus is dioecious. Dioecious, cycus is dioecious. Then the sperm of cycus, the sperm of cycus is top shaped. It is top shaped, that is. Oh my god. Like this, okay. Top shape, top. The rotating, spinning top. Okay. That's all for cycles. Then, just having a general introduction or a brief explanation of the characteristic. Uh, sorry, classification. Then, Samia we have told in case of cycadales, cycles and Samia. So this Samia is the smallest. Gymnosperm. Smallest gymnosperm. Conferales. We told pinus and sequoia. So the pinus, in case of coniferales, the pinus. They are considered as Chilgosa plant. Pinus is not considered as Chilgosa plant. Okay. Then they are monoecious. Pinus is monoecious. 
okay that's all for conifer eels then we have the jingo eels when we have the jingo eels jingo eels with jingo biloba jingo biloba it is also a living fossil very important living fossil it is known as maiden hair tree maiden hair tree okay and that's all for jingo biloba next we have the neat eels neatum velvicia and ephedra and these have vessels and companion cells these have vessels and companion cells okay so then we told that one example in case of details that is the epidra so from this epidra plant a drug named epidrin is produced epidrin epidrin and this epidrin is used for the treatment of asthma asthma okay epid from epidra epidrin is produced and is used for the treatment of asthma okay then the general characteristics next we are going to learn the general characteristics first they are basically trees second point they are found in temperate regions they are found in temperate regions third point they are heterosporous different spores are produced not similar different types of spores heterosporous okay fourth point they have two types of wood that is both hard and soft wood they have two types of wood both hard and soft wood hard wood in case of of pycnosilic and soft wood manosilic is not needed so i have not explaining it any further and the dominant phase fifth point the dominant phase is sporophyte sporophyte sixth point stem is both branched and unbranched branched in case of branched in case of pinus and unbranched in case of cycas then seventh point leaves leaves of cycas show pernation they show leaves of cycas show pernation then Then I will send a table in the Telegram group. Okay, table in the Telegram group. If you watch this and ask for that table only, okay, I don't know whether you are watching this or not. So if you watch this and ask for that in Telegram, surely I will post it. Then that's all for in the case of gymnosperms. That's all in case of. Gymnosperms, and next we have the angiosperms. Only very less points, but I just plan to take it in the next chapter. Anatomy, okay. Next anatomy, I will take it. It will be easy of all these chapters. Next we have the alternation of generation, known as metagenesis, or metagenesis. That is, there are three. 
life cycles in plants haplontic haplo uh, haplontic diplontic and haplo diplontic haplontic diplontic and haplo diplontic have made it in three different slide this is haplontic this is diplontic and this is haplo diplontic so haplontic just study the examples of all the organisms having these life cycles that's only asked for your exam okay that's only us no need of learning the explanation sometimes for your board examination it might be plus only you don't not having board examinations in cbsc so just don't worry about that focus on the neat entrance uh, so you will be having examples in case of haplontic we have volvox pyrogyrum uh cara ulva all those things so ccsuv 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 chlamydomonas cara spirogyra ulva volvox volvox spirogyra and chlamydomonas are given here then you can write there as cara and uh, then what cara and ulva ulva okay, ulva next in case of diplontic next in case of diplontic life cycle we have next in case of diplontic okay uh diplontic life cycle we have gadba gadba so it is g refers to gymnosperms a refers to angiosperms b refers to diatoms diatoms b refers to b and a commonly referred to brown algae that is a fucus and sargassum b a brown algae okay next we have the haplo all these diagrams are very very important okay questions will be asked next haplo diplontic haplo diplontic it is b kelp square b kelp square that is b for bryophyte k for the giant algae that is the kelp e for ectocarpus l for laminaria p for pteridophyte and p for again one more p for polysiphonia that's for all for this alternation of generation okay alternation of generation is complete and finally the chapter of plant kingdom is also and if you like this please do not forget to hit the like button do share it with your friends and if you are not yet subscribed to our youtube channel subscribe it right now at that point stream the world of power and if anyone want to join the telegram group please comment it in the comment box okay okay then that's all for today bye bye